door, let's put the hand back. We're here in the Quarry Park at shift time and this is the exciting bit where we get to meet Theo Janssen with his Umarus. Now, Theo, you're clearly very passionate about your work and tell us what inspired you to build this creation. Well, this creation, but all creations are uh, inspired by Darwin, in fact. Oh, right. So, uh, about 23 years ago, I read this book, The Blind Watchmaker from Richard Dawkins and explaining a lot about Darwinism and I got so excited about that that it was first in the first place I was just building uh, evolutions in a computer and they, then they came out and this is the result of 19 years evolution with plastic tubing which I use as my protein as my building stuff and the animals they don't have to eat they get their energy from the wind with the wings here on top, which once in a while you get a gust of wind, you see them move, and they gather their winds by pumping up air in the wind stomach, which is on the back over there, yes. and that, and they, they have spare energy in the stomach, you could say, and that, these animals have to supposed to to live on the beaches. Right. So, how do you think it? How is it getting on in the quarry then, on this uh, hard floor surface? Well, it's go going well, very well. Yeah. Sometimes we have a gust of wind. Well, this is it. The wind's getting up now, so do you yes. think this could maybe be the best day for Umarus? It so is, far? it is, it is, yes. That's well, it's a little bit gusty, but it, uh, it's not a really steady wind which you have on the beach, but we can try. Yeah. Right. And when you finish demonstrating here in the quarry, what's mm -hmm. going to happen to the sculpture? Well, first we're going to bring it to the St. Mary's Church, where it's to be exhibited, and I give a lecture there next week. Great. And then it, uh, I declare it died out. Yes. And extinct uh, because I want to start the new evolution, the new animal and I learned a lot from this animal because it has a lot of children's diseases and I want to keep that out and the next generation will be better again. So this is the next step in evolution. Just wanted to ask you Theo, um, if you had the choice between going to dinner with a group of artists yes. or a group of engineers, which would you choose? None of them I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a uh, you don't I don't see the difference. You don't see yourself. No, I don't it, see the difference between artists and, and, and engineers. They both have the same passion. Yeah. And somebody on the front? Oh, okay, okay. I was worried because they blow away, away so easy. You hold on to it. That's right. And that's why the next generation, they have a, a twin next to it, which are, they are holding each other, so they won't blow it away that easy on the beach. Okay, well thanks very much for coming to Shrewsbury and enjoy the rest of the weekend. Thank you very much.